Well, I've got a bit of a test to try now that we've gone past the uh, April 8th expiration date for Windows XP. I want to see if this computer will update on Microsoft's Windows Update site. Now that it's uh, April 9th, it's be kind of curious to see. Uh, so this laptop is a, is a Dell Latitude D610 and I found this in a client's basement a few a couple months ago and this laptop is virtually brand new there is not one scuff on it not one goober on the keyboard nothing as a matter of fact the power adapter has never even been taken out of its little bundle right there and of course it came with the original Dell Windows XP Professional and this rather nice Dell carrying case and I said this is all virtually brand new so the hard drive was wiped on this I don't know why but I've already gone ahead and reinstalled XP on this uh, when I when I found it so I'm gonna go ahead and and boot it up and we're gonna do an update to Windows and see what happens here should be interesting so as you can see this computer is currently running XP Professional with Service Pack 3 and I haven't updated this machine in probably at least a month or two uh, so let's go ahead and try this out and see what happens so here we go let's find out what's going on here install well that's a good sign see normally in the past when Windows or when Microsoft is killed one of their Windows operating systems for support uh, normally the Windows updates continue to function for a number of years for that particular operating system. Uh, I remember being able to do updates to Windows 98 and uh, Windows 2000 uh, for a number of years after those two had expired. Uh, although they don't anymore and they haven't for a few years unfortunately. They, Microsoft has made so many changes to the Windows update site since Vista that uh, those didn't work anymore. So let's see what happens with XP. If it even pulls up updates, I'll be surprised. Although I'm kind of expecting that it will. I don't think Microsoft is going to necessarily take down this, the uh, updates that are currently there for XP. There just won't be any more added to it, but we'll find out here. Uh, the other thing that Microsoft is doing is uh, apparently they are deleting uh, their database of XP product keys. <clears throat> and I had a problem come into the store a couple weeks ago actually uh, and you can google about this uh, but um, that the uh, Windows Genuine uh, Advantage uh, popped up saying that the uh, computer was a possible victim of piracy and so I ended up removing that with my removal tool to fix it once I found out that Microsoft is wiping out their database of XP keys so once that happens, uh, reactivating a new installation of XP is going to be impossible and there's going to be a lot more people that, that end up having the WGA notification popping up saying that they're a victim of piracy. So that's something to keep in mind. If you ever see that pop up, that's why. It's not a virus, although there have been some viruses in the past. XP has uh, killed uh, some of the OEM keys for Dell's, uh, or not for Dell's, for Lenovo, uh, that had gotten leaked out on the internet. And of course, because those product keys were on virtually all of a certain model of Lenovo laptops, it affected quite a few people when they killed that key. Uh, coming up and saying that the product wasn't a genuine key and it couldn't be activated and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of interesting things Microsoft has done. So it looks like it's going to take this thing a little while here to, to figure out what it's got to download here, if anything. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back in just a second. Okay, so as you can see, it does still come up with the Windows updates to be downloaded. There are 133 of them for me. And 12 optional updates as well as two hardware updates, which I'm not going to bother to probably do any of these. Uh, well, I, might, I might do them, I don't know. Maybe I will just to see what happens, but I'm sure I'm going to download end up downloading the annoying uh, your computer's gonna blow up after April 8th don't go buy a new computer message that comes up there and get that little ticking time bomb countdown thing that pops up there uh, which probably doesn't come up anymore actually <laughs> since it's 
now expired. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and install these, I guess. If I don't like what I see, I'll just go ahead and reinstall XP. Why not, right? While well, there's that pesky little varmint uninstall right there. Dang Windows XP and their end of life support notification BS. By gum, that's going to be coming off here as soon as this computer's rebooted, by golly. And the updates, they are installing. And just so that everyone knows exactly the date that I'm doing this, well, here you go. Well, here we are. A few minutes later, rebooted back up. And there's one thing I don't see. That is the pesky notification popping up saying that the support for XP has ended. I'm kind of surprised by that. But nevertheless, the updates have installed, even though the support ended on April 8th. So I predict that they'll probably still be available, at least manually downloadable anyway, on the Windows Update site for a long while to come. I haven't tried the automatic updates, but typically I don't really care to do automatic updates. I prefer, if I'm going to do updates at all to an XP machine, it will be done manually. So I'm going to go in here and remove that pesky little notifier here. Well, by golly, Sergeant Carter, there's that pesky little update right there. And that pesky little update's going to be removed. First thing I have to say to this update, in the words of Buford Mad Dog Tannen, by the time we had a hanging. And that's all I have to say about that update. Yes, remove. And look at that. That pesky, annoying little pop-up, it is gone from the system. Who knows, you know, maybe in 10 or 15 years, if YouTube is still around, people are uploading videos still, and we're all running Intel Core i a million processors with 64 terabytes of, of DDR 533 trillion whatever memory, um, people will probably be running XP in a virtual box, just like they do with DOS nowadays and Windows 3.1 and stuff like that. And you know, you really got to give Microsoft a lot of credit because Microsoft was originally going to kill support for XP about six to eight months after Vista originally came out. And it wasn't for the uh, uh, business clients that Microsoft had that squawked about it. That changed Microsoft's mind about ending support for XP back then. So you have to give them a lot of credit for supporting an operating system far beyond what they've ever done before and far beyond what any other uh, operating system vendor has ever done for software. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how long it's going to take them before they finally kill Vista. So you still have some time to get your computers updated to XP if you really want to, if you care to. Um, people that are concerned about security with uh, Windows XP on the internet, I would just stick with Opera or Firefox and run Adban on it, Ad, Adblock Plus or something like that on it. Take care, everyone. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing all of my videos.